Arriving in a place and not burdening your head with too much information is a guarantee of a slight objectivity. Macedonia has two suitors, one that looks to the past and one that looks to the future. This is the forerunner of a puzzle in which ancient and modern history move at the same pace. The news seems old and gives the impression that the country has married a new wife. Modern and cheerful, jocular and willing, but continues to live with the old consort, the one who always listens and makes us think. Skopje is the main political, economic, educational and cultural centre of Macedonia. It is perhaps the most entertaining capital in the Balkans, thanks to a combination of monuments, museums, fountains and above all, a lively and effervescent street life. A leisurely stroll through the streets and alleys of the Turkish Quarter is an express trip back in time. Some souls tells us that we are in Europe, but other sounds, flavors, clothes and intentions transport us to some bazaar in any part of the Middle East. Here the streets are a representation of the particularity of the place. We take a straight path, but sometimes we end up in the same place and sometimes in a new one. At first glance, everything looks the same but the different types of people are reflected in faces, colors and clothing. It is said that the only thing that is unchanging is change. Some people are more resistant than others, but here the subject is approached in a very different way. These are not changes that overwhelm. They represent the continuation of different cultures that follow parallel paths and share the same place. This mixture makes the place an essential experience to get to know contemporary Macedonia in depth. Some stare intimidatingly, while others gesticulate piously. There are also those who embrace glory or the arts. As we walk through the city, we are confronted by huge statues and grand buildings. The city is divided by the Varda River. On one side is the old, what we might call traditional, and on the other side, the new and contemporary.
which manages to be modern and at the same time imitates the past. The link between the two worlds is the Ottoman bridge. Crossing it is the daily sport and the usual task of the residents. In a few steps, almost without realizing it, one manages to cross entire centuries. The police presence is merely symbolic and almost invisible. No matter the place, no matter the time, no matter the religion of the souls, let alone the purchasing power, the streets are characterized by the security and good nature of their inhabitants. North Macedonia is the youngest country in the world. It was created in 1991 after the dissolution of the former Yugoslavia. However, it has been 30 years since its final name was adopted. The Greeks have always been a thorn in the side of this young state. From now on, Aristotle, the great Philippi and his son Alexander the Great, will be recognized as Macedonians, despite Greek intentions. For some, the city sums up the essence of the Balkans like few other places, an essence that we will discover mile by mile as we travel through these lands. Thanks for making it this far. If you liked the video, which I hope you did, remember to subscribe. I'll be seeing you here. Bye.